Happy New Year. Hope your 2020 is going great. So this video is my 2019 annual report. I want to make sure you guys know what was going on in the real estate market here locally and what my predictions are for this next year. foremost we had a pretty good year this last year so our number of sold properties is where we actually saw the greatest increase in our market area which consists of Fredericksburg Spotsylvania Stafford King George and Orange County we in Caroline County is included as well uh, the number of homes sold actually went up 16% this last year, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, we actually sold many more homes this year than we did last year. So we sold just under 7,000 homes, which is actually a bit above what my prediction was the year before. Our average price has also gone up, but just a little teeny bit. And the little teeny bit is actually lower than a normal rate. So prices are not, are not necessarily increasing the way they normally are. So a detached home, so that's a home, standalone home, the average sales price of that in our area is $342,900. That's up only 2.5% over last year. A attached home or a condo town home that kind of thing the average price is 251,000 and that's up four percent over last year so our attached homes performed a little bit better than our detached homes but the nice thing is we have those up arrows on both of those the amount of time it's taken a house to sell has decreased 42 percent and this is because the number of homes that are on the market have been decreasing and a higher percentage of homes that come on the market are being sold. So it's only taking about 42 days on average for a home to sell. So that's not two weeks, but it's not six months either. But in different price ranges, the average time to sell is different. So this is based on that average $342,000 house. It's going to take about a month and a half to sell. And of course, this is over the entire year and there are some months that are better than others. Buyers are using conventional financing to purchase homes now more than any other product. You can talk to your loan officer about why that is, but my thought is they have lots of low down payment programs that also don't have the mortgage insurance as part of the monthly payment for the life of the loan. Once you have 20% equity in the home, you can get rid of that extra payment every single month. And so that's why I think these conventional loans are a little bit more attractive to our clients. The peak months to sell this last year were March through May. That's the peak time to have your house on the market and that is also the peak of buyer activity. So if you're going to list your home and get it under contract, it's gotta be done in those months. Let's look at different jurisdictions just to see how things are a little bit different in those. So in Spotsylvania, Stafford, and Fredericksburg, those average sales prices or number, excuse me, number of homes that have sold only went up three to four and a half percent. So really not that much. And you see, we have this big number over here, 16%. So where did that come from? Well, that came from King George and Orange County. In King George, 28% more homes sold this last year than the year before. That is incredible. Uh, Orange County went up 17%. That's incredible as well. So you can see how the different jurisdictions, I mean, I would predict Spotsy, Stafford, Fredericksburg, that three to four and a half percent growth, that's basically stagnant is how I see it, but at least it's growth and not a loss. The average prices in each of the jurisdictions went up between five and eight percent on average, but all of them together, really not that high. So our average price is doing okay. Uh, hopefully it will do better this coming year. So what are some contributing factors to this? Well, number one, first time home buyers made up about a third of our purchase market. That's incredible. We haven't had a big flow of first time home buyers in a long time. So the first time home buyers really contributed to that. Also, as we all know, we all hear low interest rates and we also have low inventory, but that low inventory is only in certain price points. And it typically is the price point where this first time home buyer is looking as well as the downsizing buyer is looking. So that is where we have low inventory. That's where prices are going up faster. That's where time on market is going way down. That's where you're seeing multiple offers. So that low inventory place 
is there. So we all know our supply and demand curve. As supply increases and demand decreases, the price is going to decrease. So we have a huge supply of homes in some of the higher end price markets. So those areas are not experiencing the 42 days on the market and prices going up. As a matter of fact, some of those prices haven't changed much in a few years. But in the lower price ranges where that demand is high and the supply is really low, that's where we're seeing the major price increases. So for 2020, what are some of my predictions? Well, I'll tell you this. I believe 2020 is going to perform pretty much the same way 2019 did. However, it's all going to be jam-packed in the first nine months of the year. We all know in November this year, we have a presidential election. And all the time, no matter who is running or what is going on, right before a presidential election, consumer confidence tanks. And that has an impact on the real estate market. And we all know this presidential election, just like all the others, are going to be very political and very volatile. It's going to create some unease in the stock market. There may be some unease in interest rates, but they will remain low. But all of this activity and all these feelings start coming about, I don't know, about September time. If you're looking at selling this year, my recommendation is you've got to get it done at the first half of the year. Once we hit September, things are not looking good and my recommendation might be at that time to wait until 2021. Typically right after the election, no matter who wins, everything gets better. So that September through October timeframe, which is typically a good market in our area, during a presidential election is not necessarily going to be the best. What's gonna happen is the real estate market is gonna feel like it's much faster paced. And that's because all the activity we typically do in a 12 month time frame is going to be jam packed down into a nine month time frame. So for agents who are out there who may not understand what's going on in the market, it's going to feel to them like the market is really good and really crazy and all this kind of stuff. But again, that's just a feeling. The statistics are going to show it's going to be about the same as last year. The other thing I expect to see this year is we're going to have more people looking to downsize. So these are folks who've lived in their home for many, many, many years. They might've raised a family in the home. Now their family is gone. Kids are off on their own. Uh, they have grandkids maybe coming every now and then, but they don't need that big 4,000 square foot house anymore. And so they're gonna be looking to downsize. So my team and I have developed a program to help people downsize into a smaller home, not only in selling the home and getting that original home ready to go on the market, but also organization. We can refer you to people to help you decide what you keep, what you don't keep, the new floor plan, the new layout of furniture in your new home. And we do it all, we package it all together and make sure you're taken care of to make it at least stressful as possible. So if you're looking to downsize in 2020, please reach out to us. We'd be glad to sit down and do a consultation and share what we provide to those types of clients. I've been helping people buy and sell homes in the Fredericksburg area for the last 17 plus years. I can't believe that. So if you or someone you know is looking for more information on how the market has impacted their home, or if they're considering purchasing a home in this next year, please reach out to us. We love the referral. We love to take care of them. And we know 2020 is going to be an excellent, excellent year. I hope you have a great new year and I will see you in our next video. Hey you, don't forget to click the subscribe button right here to keep all this great information coming to you. And if you want to know more about the services we provide here in the great Commonwealth of Virginia, click the link to our website go fill out a seller or a buyer profile and we will get in touch and help you out. Don't forget, subscribe.